Thank you, Your Honor. Good morning. Good morning. Um, let us, we had just finished with some text on July 15th of 2019 um, and ending with a chat uh, that had occurred with Lori Vallow and um, uh, from Charles Vallow's son. Do you recall? Yes. Okay. Let us turn some, to some more um, conversations or uh, information you included in your summary from July 15th of 2019. Um <laughs> So if you could look at the next slide, I think it's noted as slide 16, um, and take a look at this. Now, um, this is the same exhibit that you prepared in summary for court today? Yes. Okay. And just so the record's clear, this summary is a summary of what? It's a summary of content from two iCloud accounts, Lori for style at iCloud.com and Lolly Time at iCloud.com. That was um, uh, part of... The evidence submitted uh, to, by the it, obtained by the investigators containing the defendant's communications with people. Correct. Okay. Now, if you could take a look at the next uh, slide, and we'll go through um, just these two on the fifteenth. Can you tell us why you included these two messages? Yes, I included these messages uh, because they were a reference to the relationship between Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow, and there was a statement from Lori Vallow about uh, the status of that relationship. Okay. If you could just read into the record, please, so that it's clear, what are the, the text communications between Chad Vallow, Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow um, that you included from July 15th? Line 2827 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. I know you won't get this text for another hour or so, but my love for you is overflowing right now. I just want to hold you endlessly. You are my wonderful best friend that I can't live without. Line 2826 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. And yet you are so sad, missing you, just landed, got to get to work. Um. And so why did these two particular texts um, amongst the thousands that you saw catch your attention and include in the summary? It discusses Chad Daybell's statement <coughs> that he can't live without Lori Vallow, and she responds, and yet you are. Why was that relevant for investigative purposes? Objection, Your Honor, calls for a legal conclusion. I my question was cut off, Your Honor. I said, why was that relevant for investigators' purposes? And I'm objecting as, it's, as it calls for a legal conclusion. It's overruled. Thank you, Your Honor. You may answer. It was clear to investigators that the relationship between Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow was uh, a driving force behind the crimes that have been alleged in this case. Turning to some conversations on July 18th, and I believe these go on for a, a few bits, but could you take a look at them? Why did you include these particular communications? This slide and two or three slides after this slide contain a text string between Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow regarding um, the uh, fact that Chad, excuse me, Charles Vallow had changed the beneficiary of his life insurance from Lori Vallow to another individual. I included this because it was pertinent in terms of uh, potential financial motives in this case. Okay. If you could, starting with the lines on page 17, could you take a look at those and read those into the record? Yes. Line 2706 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. I just got the letter from the insurance company saying that I am not the beneficiary. It is a spear through my heart. Who do you think he changed it to? Brandon or probably Kay. He left nothing for J.J., Line 2705 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. Wow, that's terrible. There is no way to find out. 
line 2704 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. I might be able to see when I get his computer on Sunday. I could check I the emails sent to the insurance company. It will show change of beneficiary. He must have done it recently. If you could continue on slide 18. Read those as well. Line 2703 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. It seems you would have had to agree to the change. Maybe your name was forged. You should have a good paper trail to prove it. Line 2702 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. I love you. This is terrible, but it is probably another step in bringing down the Gaddy Antons, especially Brandon. Line 2701 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. Nope, he can change it any time he wants. He's the agent, and anyone can change their beneficiary any time with their own signature. I'm thinking it must be K. Line 2700. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. From Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. Hmm. It will be interesting if it got changed after he had two bullets in his chest. And continuing on this this line of summary. Line 2699 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. I don't think it could have. You can't change it after the death date. They would review that. Line 2698 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. Yes, I'm thinking Kay as well. She is probably freaking out that you got those computers. I'm going to shower and give you a blessing. I'm eager to get home so we can talk. It really will be okay, my love. You are wonderful. Line 2687 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. So I talked to the insurance company. He changed it in March. So it was probably Ned before we got rid of him. They can't tell me to who, of course, but it's done. I'll still get the 4000 a month from SS. Line 2683 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. When you get out of the temple, please text this phone. I'm home alone until about 3.30 your time. I love you so much. Now, you indicated that you included this in your summary of the text because it discussed potential financial motive for various crimes. Correct. Okay. Let's go back and look at the sort of beginning of this text communication. Um, and what if it, why did you talk about getting the letter or include getting the letter from the insurance company saying that she was, that Lori was not the beneficiary? Why did you include that text? I included that because it was apparent that Lori Valla was surprised to find out that the beneficiary had been changed. And um, was there, it, turning to the next slide, uh, was there anything significant to you about it is probably another step in bringing down the gladiatons, especially Brandon. In your review of the iCloud, all the iCloud records in context of the entire investigation that you were part of, do, did you understand what that meant? Yes. What did that mean? Gaddy Antons is another reference to the Book of Mormon. The Gaddy Antons were a secret society, a group of robbers, evil people. So when the, the phrase Gaddy Anton is used, it's simply identifying someone as being evil in this case, or also in this case, Brandon Boudreau. Um, and why would the inclusion of Brandon Boudreau in a conversation about Charles Vallow's uh, life insurance money have any significance to you in the investigation? I would object because it misstates the evidence that's actually been presented. There's no reference to Brandon Boudreau. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Why would the reference to Brandon in the text at line 2702 have any significance to you um, as it's inserted in a text conversation about Charles Vallow's Life insurance. 
that particular line in and of itself isn't terribly significant other than we know from the investigation that that marriage was also in a tumultuous time, but it was a text in a series of text strings, one following the other, so I included it in amongst this series. And um, what, if any, significance was there to the conversation about it? He can change it at any time. I'm thinking, and ending with, I'm thinking it must be K. Did you know who K was? Yes. Who was K? K Woodcock, Charles Vallow's sister. Okay. And um, turning to the line 2687, what, if any, significance in the investigation uh, was there to a conversation about 4000 a month from SS? That's a an indication that Lori Vallow would still receive that amount of money on a monthly basis from Social Security. Okay. And uh, as of July 18th, 2018, 2019, had Lori Vallow yet started to receive Social Security from JJ or uh, for JJ from Charles's Social Security account? Not at that date. That took place a little later on. And yet it's referenced in line 2,687. Correct. And that text communication about anticipated Social Security funds was on July 18, 2019 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. Yes. 